I am reading. I'm busy reading, and you would be too if you had this book in your hand. Welcome back to Sunrise. Mark, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 4, verses 38 states, And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and said unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? Adrift in a violent storm that threatens to swamp and capsize the boat, the disciples look to Jesus and questions whether he cares about our circumstances, whether he cares about our circumstances. This morning, Wednesday service, we dare to ask, why does God allow some things to happen some things as the experience that you're seeing on screen. It's a popular video, it went viral because here it is, um, Pastor Tommy Lee was with his family, singing about the faithfulness of God. But I read the comments, and when I was reading the comments, I heard someone ask, I read someone who asked, God could help them. <laughs> and I said, let us talk about it. So this morning, of course, our guest is Bible teacher and discipleship leader, author, of Dare to, is a Dare to series. This, this morning we're talking about Dare to Ask. There's Dare to Contend, contend and there's Dare to Worship. Garfield <laughs> Robinson, my brother, welcome <laughs> to Sunrise again. And he comes with a smile. It's so, so, so good to have you. I'm, I'm persons are at home saying yes. Here. I have so many questions. This book, yeah. it has 35 questions. And, and the question that we want to engage with this morning mm -hmm. is, is exactly what we started with, is that what, what happened on the screen. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the pastor would have been asking that question, even mm -hmm. though we saw him singing. Mm -hmm. Do you not care that we are perishing, says yeah. 438. How do yeah. we approach that question, you know, with, with scriptural foundation? Well, uh, good to be here again. Yes. Yeah. I think at some point in time, um, everyone yes. asks that question, you know? Yeah. Even if we don't dwell there, even if we don't continue to, to think and become negative and, yeah. and anxious, but, but there are times when we would think, I mean, God, don't, don't you care? Yes, yes. Here is a situation where the disciples were going across the lake. Mm -hmm. But they were going across the lake because Jesus told them that we're going across yes. the lake. Y yes, exactly. So, so what is important in this context is that if Jesus says that we're going over, we're going over? Yes. So comes what me, we're going over. Oh. You understand? Yes, and so, so what is important is to note um, what God has communicated to you. Know what God says in the time of calm the, mm -hmm. so that you don't lose your mind in the time of storm. Say that again. Yeah. Know what God says in the time of calm so that you know. So that you don't lose your mind in this time of storm. Because, you see, what I admired about this pastor is that even though he was in a time of storm, mm -hmm. and we all, we all go through them, we all face storm. Inescapable. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the fact that he was in a storm doesn't mean that the storm has to be in you. Mm -hmm. Because we can have peace in the storm. We can trust God in the storm. Mm -hmm. In the situation of the, the, the disciples, in verse 37, we are told, the disciples say, Lord, you don't care, you know, business if we're yeah, dead. Yeah. You don't care if we perish. Yeah. Because the scripture tells us that the boat was now full. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, sleep. <laughs> and, and, and at times, at times, we, we too feel as if we can't take any more, we can't bear any more. Lord, yeah. the boat full. We can't manage anymore. But the, the good thing about it is that the Lord allows storm mm. to come in our life, not just to... You yes, said the to, good thing, yes. the Lord allows storm. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking the word good yeah. and storm shouldn't be the yeah. same sentence. But yeah. come to go again. Yeah. The but, but the thing is that because, because the Lord is good, the, the, the key is knowing is knowing the God who allows the storm, mm. even if you don't know what is going to happen in the storm. Mm. 
Mm. Because when we know the God who allows the storm, we know that he has our best interests in mind. Mm. Regardless of the back. All right, let, let us look at the text. Mm. In the text, Jesus told them that, hey, we're going over. Mm -hmm. He didn't tell them that we're going to face a storm while we're going over. Mm -hmm. yeah, no, no. But he allowed that storm because he wanted to teach them something. Notice at the end of that story what happened. When Jesus spoke to the storm and said, peace be still, yes. and there was a great calm, calm. the disciples said, oh, yeah. what kind of man this? They marveled. Oh, so, so before, they had Jesus as them little bridging, them little body body, mm -hmm. but now a new revelation. Mm -hmm came to them that they were seeing Jesus for who he really is. So he allows a storm to come in our lives for different reasons. You know, sometimes that we might be mature through it, that we mm. might trust him more, mm. you know, different. Um, and he doesn't always Is speak peace in the sense of stopping the storm. Before it happens. Yeah. Because, and there are persons watching, they have a difficulty. They are hearing what you're saying, mm -hmm. but there's a difficulty facing storms. And they would rather, naturally, not face the storm. Yeah. What, 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 is, what is the key takeaway you want our, our viewers to leave this morning? Those who are even watching in the middle of a, a storm. All right, so we know that there are many persons who are going through storms now. And if you're not, don't worry about it. You will be going through a storm sometime in the future. The most important thing is to, to recognize and remember that God is a good God, that mm. God is good. God remains good even on our bad days. He, oh. God remains good even on our bad days. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so the, 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 the bad times does not mean that God is it's no bad, bad. And, oh. and God is good in the good times, mm. right? So if we, if, we, if we remember who God is before the storm comes, we will not speak like the disciples and, pardon me, yeah. and talk madness mm. in the storm, yes, if yeah. you understand. Because yeah. they were no saying... God, you don't care if we yeah. perish. Yes, yes. If they remembered, if they kept in mind who he is, that he actually cared, then they wouldn't say, you don't care. Yeah, you, you wouldn't and care, And sometimes yeah. we, because of the situation that we're in, we say, God, you don't care, because you don't see how much bills I yes, have to yes, pay. Yes. God, you don't care, because yeah. you don't see my mortgage, yes, you yes. don't see my son or my daughter mm -hmm. sick, my knee, you understand? Yeah. But if we remember, if we bear in mind who it is, that's a, that's a takeaway. I mean, I, I have one question, but we won't have time for the question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. If a man dies, will he live again? <laughs> you have to come back and answer that, because just the previous segment we spoke to um, the owner-operator of a, a funeral home service, and he, yeah. he was preparing us to ride home in style. Mm -hmm. But if a man dies, will he live again? That's question 35. <laughs> this has been... Our guest this morning, Garfield Robinson, my brother, Bible teacher in, 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 in scripture, and of course, pastor, coach, uh, discipleship leader, author of Dare to Ask, Dare to Contend, and Dare to Worship. On the other side of this break, we'll get back to the roots of things with Grace Kennedy. That and more when Sunrise returns to this place. Tick and stay. Don't move a muscle. If a man dies, will he live again? <laughs> It's all